Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bear Review in Raggy's Tat Room, home of Bear Reviews. So today I'm reviewing this. It's Project Coasters and it's their West Coaster IPA at 5.6%. You can scan the QR code on the front, it takes you to their website, it tells you about the beer. So I'm actually going to try that now, see if they've actually done it. I think the first time I reviewed it, I was a bit too close to the, um, shall we say the, uh, oh, oh, I might do beer reviews, but the last thing I want to see is my face. Show options, there we go. Open in browser. So, there we go. Projectcoasters.com. Obviously, today's modern, um, Cans and breweries, so we'll let that load because I'm down the shed and the internet is crap down the shed. Let me get off Wi Fi. Right, here we go. So, yeah, there we go. Project Coasters, so that's good, isn't it? Um, except Project Coasters is Beer Mats Brewing Company's um, So there it tells you about the beer. One click involved, so not overly, um, uh -huh, that's good. So it's citrusy, fruity and hoppy. Uh, the AB, the West Coast style IPA, bursting with orange, tangerine and grapefruit flavours and a tantalising fresh orange and lime citrus aromas on the nose. So that sounds, that's great. From Beer Mats Brewing Company, based in Newark, not overly far away from my workplace. And, uh, and obviously this is a keg line. Um, we, at my Cockliffe site, are actually having keg. Uh, the Callum site, they're stuck on Draftmaster and cask, uh, although the cask, has never, we've never been able to get the cask working and uh, I've long since gave up on that idea. Uh, for reasons is I'm a gardener and I'm not really Allowed to butt in, shall we say. So crystal clear, golden looking pour on this, obviously decent size head. Um, yeah, so we are having keg sometime soon over at the Cockliffe site. So uh, that is interesting um, from, from my point of view as well, from my Raggy's um, beer festival at my Reading Bowels. So uh, I will be looking towards breweries in the Nottinghamshire region for, for kegs of their beers, if they do kegs, obviously. Uh, mini kegs, that is, not <laughs> bigger than mini kegs. I can't afford too much. That's not that rich. Um, at the moment, I don't feel rich at all. I don't feel rich anyway, but I don't feel very rich at all these days. Uh, I actually spent 10 quid on beer last week on a beer hall. Sadly, from Sainsbury's, so not the best beer hall in the world. Not locals. And, uh, yeah, is what it is. So, tangerine on the nose is sublime on this. Bloody hell, that's all. Orange and lamb citrus aromas on the nose. Well, orange, then. Well, it's more like tangerine than orange, but there's not much in between them, obviously. Tangerine is basically orange, isn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, grapefruit on the taste. Good kick there. And it's it, interesting, for me, it's interesting to see where uh, Pro, um, Project Coasters, aka Bear Mats Brewing Company's craft beer arm, uh, goes in the future um you know like every, like all local breweries i do wish them the best i'm hoping they get to nottingham craft beer festival at some stage um although tapping up the fox and grapes and getting them to put the um kegs on might be a, a close at least a close uh close one thing as it were 
So, oh, I've just been um, sanding blooming walls down, filling holes, sanding walls, sanding the skirting boards, uh, ready for the first coat of satin to go on tonight. And uh, depending on how much satin paint I've got, because I don't think we've got a lot, we're going to try and blast two coats on tonight. And um, with any luck at least. Um, The decorating has started. It feels good in some ways because we needed to finally move on from from um, Charlie, the dog, Cock Spaniel, and, and redecorate the room. The room wasn't in bad fettle, to be fair, apart from a big blooming hole on the wall where the wife had the TV and we moved TVs a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, leaks in the ceiling that we had, yeah. <laughs> Uh, luckily, didn't take the ceiling down this time. We've had some fun these last few years. It just seems to be one thing after another. It is what it is, I suppose. Oh, it's it nice. The, the weather's starting to warm up, although it's going cold next week again, but <laughs> uh, it's just been a bit warmer the last few days. And I'm mopping up at work. I'm mopping work up now. I'm getting it ready for them spring and summer months where I'm going to push, push and push. Growing stuff, obviously. Uh, trying to grow pumpkins galore, pumpkins, butternut. I'm really trying to, um, you know, push boundaries. You know, go as far as I can. Um Just, you know, I just want to really do that this year. I, I really want to do the best I can at work and uh, and see where I go. And uh, I always want to do the best I can anyway. It's never really an issue. But uh, to push boundaries, it's, um, yeah, growing absolute. I've already gave up on growing some stuff at work because it's pointless. Uh so I'm actually growing a much smaller amount of stuff this year, which takes the strain off me trying to keep it watered. Veg-wise, at least. Um, ooh, it's got a lovely twang to it, a lovely warming as well off this. See a lot of content on the channel these days. I do apologise. You know, it's it's this cask beer reviews and and that pub reviews. It will calm down at some stage. Um, so there we go. It's gone a bit more hazy now. So I'm not sure which was the intended colour. That looks much more like a West Coast IPA colour than initially. So I personally think. That's the intended colour. Uh, happens in cans, you know, sediment and that. And the thing is, you don't want to swirl the bloody can round, do you? <laughs> so you crack it open and, uh, yeah, you get a head like, uh, yeah, a Frank Bruno. But, yeah, um, Roma's coming out really now. Yeah. Still predominantly orange, not really getting the lime, to be honest. And I'm definitely getting grapefruit and orange on the taste. And, and quite a kick with it as well. Oh. It just hits the spot. After a good long hard day at work. Um, like I say, moving things along. Um, I'm going to start grain brewing again soon. Um, I'm going to do a full-on raggy update for the channel uh, when I clean the room up because it's shit hole in it at the moment. Pardon my French. Um, yeah, it's that absolute bomb site at the moment. I've got more bottles that need chucking than the little. Uh, although I am keeping the raggy's golden ale bottles. They'll probably go here soon. Raggy's golden ale when I start running out of space. When I start running out of beers to populate the wall. I'm going to put raggy's golden there. Hey, why not, eh? Hey? It's a good beer. It was a good beer. 
Not one left in existence now. Not one. Oh well, it was good while it lasted. I can't remember how long ago it was now. It was a good while ago. Yeah, I'm not sure now. How long ago it was? I mean, Craig was over for Nottingham Craft Beer Festival and we drank it on cask. And that was back in 2021. Didn't come up last year. So we brewed it, yeah, sometime in 2021. So, uh, yeah. It's about a bloody time one of these breweries actually did a, did a brew with me. I'm surprised, really. Surprised? I mean, they probably think uh, uh, sodding. But uh, no, I don't blame them, you know. It's only a chuffing beer reviewer. Sod that. So, lovely twangy beer. Um, ABV 5.6. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting that on the ABV. Tasting nice. Uh, looks better now than it did initially. The haziness, it looks like a proper West Coast, to be fair. Out of five for me, a good 4.3 out of five. Um, very interested to see where um, Project Coasters go from now on. Um and what new beers they bring out and what challenging beers because if i'm a brewer i want to be brewing stuff that i don't normally brew when i'm doing trad beers modern trad beers so it's going to be interesting do mean to get over to a uh, wink burn at some stage to the tap room uh, when it reopens i'm not sure if it's open or not to be honest but uh, i know the milestone brewing one is and it's a case of dragging my wife over and that uh, she drives back I have a beer. She drives back. Hey, sacrifices. You know what I mean? Sacrifices. Someone's got my kit. <laughs> but in any case, thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers.